in Oakland, both sides will be back at the negotiating table tomorrow morning. Sticking points include money, class size, and school closures. KPX 5's Kristen Ayers live at Kaiser Elementary, one of the schools that's set to close. Kristen? Yeah, and guys, tonight's discussion about the future of Kaiser Elementary started off calmly enough, but it devolved into shouting. Oakland Unified School District Superintendent Kyla Johnson Trammell came here to try to explain to parents at Kaiser Elementary why their school is at risk of closing. But the purpose is to be able to preserve the quality of this school and to be able to move it to a different facility so that we can expand the program. The plan is to shut down high-performing Kaiser and merge it with Sankofa Academy, which has lower test scores. Kaiser not being here would just wouldn't be Kaiser. It's such a home for us, so taking that away would really hurt our community. When district officials tried to split people into groups to talk about the plan, the meeting took a turn. Parents and teachers shouting no breakouts, insisting on questioning the superintendent in the same room. We don't want our voice to be diluted. When the shouting wouldn't stop, the superintendent left the room. Shocked for her to just walk out the door and be like, I'm not, I'm not going to handle this. That just shows, I mean, that, that's total lack of support. In classrooms set aside for discussion, parents confronted district spokesman John Sasaki. And you all walked out. You all that's what you out. care. That's how much you care about I'm us, back our children, back that back back you're going to just back walk back out. Again, the entire room started shouting down. Because you won't real. listen to us. Emotions got a little raw, and, and we understand that. Sasaki said Trammell had to leave tonight to handle business related to Oakland's teacher strike, but the discussion continued in her absence. What we have staff here doing right now is, is hearing the feedback from the community and hearing what they want. And a district official said tonight's feedback will go to the superintendent and the Board of Education. As far as the strikes, a teacher told me their union voted Monday to add school closures to the bargaining table. So that will now be part of negotiations. Live in Oakland, Kristen Ayers, KPIX 5.